what's up you all it's your girl the prophetic princess really quick just a prayer point slash praise point for you this morning when i woke up i got stuck on thanking god for the things that he kept me from that i am not aware of now i know we do this whole he kept me from danger seen and unseen and some of us are just saying it because it's cliche some of us are just saying it because we heard somebody else say it and then there's a group of us we're saying it because we know it we feel that thing right and this morning i got stuck on just saying god i thank you i thank you for the things that you protected me from that i don't even know about i'm talking about all this warfare and things like that that i've been dealing with but what about the warfare that i never even felt some of you you don't even understand the level of uh uh, of warfare and, and, and uh, witchcraft and things like that that is working against you you don't even get it you don't feel it and you're like man i'm going through and i don't understand blah 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 baby i get it but let me tell you something i got stuck this morning regarding praying about what he kept me from that i don't even feel the effects of i can't even feel it i remember watching a video years ago about this it was a guy, he was like a revivalist or something. I don't know, he was doing revival. A group of witches got together, like they called the witches in to pray against his meeting. And then some of the witches went to the meeting and they and they were like, you like you didn't feel it? He was like, no. And the, the witches that went to the meeting ended up getting saved, but they were telling him all the stuff that they were doing, trying to work against him. He was like, oh, I didn't feel a thing. Then I remember, I thought about, how when I went through my del my first deliverance session where I was going through deliverance because every de deliverance minister needs consistent deliverance. Every leader needs consistent deliverance. That's a whole nother thing. Anyway, yeah, and I remember what was revealed and uh, the Lord told me, he said, Renisha, you don't even understand the level of witchcraft you were really coming against. Like you don't even understand and I'm talking about even in my family, baby. And this is why I cannot play with witches, warlocks, sage, and other stuff. This is why I can't play with, I don't have time to play crystals. This is why I can't play with that thing because the witches would love to have me. I could easily cross over and become a high-ranking witch easily. Easily. Okay? I have witches on both sides of my family. But I don't have time to play those games. Some of you do not realize what the lord has been keeping you from so yeah i know it's hard i know it's intense i know you feel like you're about to flip out or whatever but i'm telling you praise him for the things he's keeping you from and you don't even feel the effects of it the bible says no weapon formed against us shall prosper right there are weapons that form and so a lot of us we're feeling weapons that are for, have formed even though it's not prospering i know it's hard and it's, i know it looks crazy it looks real rough right now but the weapons are still not prospering but then there's there, there's another group of weapons that you're not even feel, you don't even know about it y'all do y'all understand what i'm saying like i'm not talking about what you feel i'm talking about the stuff that is coming against you that the lord is saying no you can't touch that no, he won't even allow hell to let you feel the effects of it. Some of us, we're dealing with the low level warfare. The stuff we're feeling is low level. The high level stuff, the Lord is okay. Anyway, 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 I hope you all understand what I'm saying. I just praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him for what he's keeping you from, and he's not even allowing you to feel it. Renisha, I feel residue. I'm sure you do feel residue of some things, but I'm telling you this morning, he told me there's some stuff that you cannot even feel and I'm keeping you from it. So be fully encouraged. One of my friends just sent me a video that I recorded years ago that popped up on her feed on YouTube where I was crying and I was telling you all that the weight of this season will not take you out. And even in the video, I was talking about how we're in a very weighty season and it's a lot of transition going on. And I said, not just death. I said, death too. Mind you, I recorded this years ago. I said, not just death, that too, but there's a lot of transition. A lot of you are going through that right now. Different transitions. You're feeling the weight of everything. Some of us are dealing with our personal stuff. Plus, we can feel what's going on in the atmosphere. We can feel when something's wrong with you, all of this stuff. But guess what? The weight of this season will not take you out. I feel like I'm screaming. Y'all know I don't like to scream. I'm out.